Hello folks, this is Johnny Norvell with the Music Performance Academy. Today we've got the guitar by Guy Clark and Verlin Thompson. It's got a great guitar solo in here. We've got it all tabbed out. It's in the link in the description. And this is a fun one for intermediate to advanced. Even beginners can learn this tune. Everything's wrote out. And you'll have fun learning this one. Please like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all being with us. Well, I was passing by a pawn shop back in the older part of town. Something caught my eye. I stopped and turned around. Stepped inside, and there I spied in the middle of it all was a beautiful guitar. What do you want for that piece of junk, I asked the old man. He just smiled and took it down, and he put it in my hand. You tell me what's worth. You're the one that wants it. Tune it up. Play a song. Let's just see what haunts it. So I hit a couple chords. My old country way of strumming. Then my fingers turned to lightning. Man, I never heard it coming. It was like I always knew it. Just don't know where I learned it. it. Wasn't nothing but the truth. So I just reared back and burned it. all track of time. Wasn't nothing I could pick. Up and down the neck, man, I never missed a lick. It was like that guitar played itself and there was nothing I couldn't do. It was getting hard to tell. Just who was playing who. When I finally put it down, I couldn't catch my breath. My hands were shaking and my shirt was soaking wet. The old man finally got up and said, Where in the world have you been? I've been waiting all these years. You've stumbled in. Then he took down an old dusty case and said, Go on, pack it up. You don't owe me nothing. And when he said good luck, there was something spooky in his voice. Something strange on his face. And when I shut the lid, I saw my name was on the case. Okay, there you have it. Um, we're going to do the tutorial now. I'd suggest that you get the uh, tablature that we wrote out. It's on the link and you can follow right along. This is going to be very doable for anybody that's, even if you've been playing only a year, it'll be great for practicing uh, your scale patterns in a different way as well as learning a great song. So here we go. We're going to do the intro lick. All in the tablature, just follow along. I'm going to be doing this pretty slow. One factor is we got the capo on the second fret. So the tablatures wrote out as if this was on the first fret. Um, it'll make sense when you when you see it. So here we go. First lick. Next lick. Here we go again. There you have it. That's your first lick. Now, as soon as that's done, you get into this strumming pattern. We're going to do this in steps, so this is step number two. Real simple. Four chords. A minor, F major 7, or F, either one, a G, and an E7. So here's the strumming pattern. It's bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
that's the A minor. Now it goes to this. F, down, up, down, up, down, up, F, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then the G is a bass on the G. Bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then it goes to an E7. Bass, down, up, down, up, down, up, bass, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now I'm going to sing a couple of lines for you. And that's all you have to do is sing along and it'll help you get to the solo. So here we go. I was passing by a pawn shop in the older part of town. Something caught my eye and I stopped and turned around. Keep it with me. I stepped inside and there I spied in the middle of it all was a beat up old guitar hanging on the wall and then it starts over what do you want for that piece of junk I asked the old man he just smiled and took it down and he put it in my hand so I'm not gonna do all the words for it but you get the idea you can go look up the words and then at the end of this I'm gonna do the whole Kind of the, almost the first verse and then the lead, really slow, and that's how you can build your solo and uh, rhythm playing as long as, as as well as singing the song. It's kind of a storytelling song, so just follow along uh, and you'll catch it. Okay, there's a lick right here that comes that I want to show you now. It's going to be in the tab, and what it is is this: the bass notes are this. <laughs> And here's, again, here's how it's going to go. I wrote it out in the tab. And then it goes on the next, next line. Hit a couple of chords. My old country way of strumming. Then my fingers turning lightning. Man, I never heard it coming. It was like I always knew it. Just don't know where I learned it wasn't nothing but the truth so I just reared back and burned it now if you'll follow along in the tab I'm gonna play the solo for you slowly It continues on. Then it goes to this part. I lost all track of time. There was nothing I couldn't pick. Up and down the neck. Man, I never missed a lick. And it goes back to the A minor. Keep singing there. Now let me show you these chords right here. They're nothing but an a, uh, inversions of the A minor, F, the G, and the E7. So the inversions are this. That's, that's actually an A minor. There it is. And then you go down to the F. That's nothing but an inversion of an F. You move up to, you got an inversion of a G. And then you've got this chord structure, and that's just nothing but an inversion of an E7. And then it kind of finishes out the song, and then you've got that lick again.
Okay, a couple of things in closing. If you'll follow along this tab, we've got it provided. It's, you can follow right along. Uh, three things, I think. One thing is just to listen to the Guy Clark album. It, it's called The Cape, I believe. No, it's called uh, The Guitar, actually. That's the name of the album. Same, the song, same song we're doing. It's got a ton of good songs on there. This is just the title song. So listen to that really close. Uh, number two, don't expect this to be exactly like it's played, but it's very close. Um, another thing you can do is you can tape the chords and then just play the, the, the lead that we provided in the tabs over the top of it really slow. And that's going to help you a lot. Another thing to do is just connect everything. When you first start learning a song like this, it's like, it's just all over the place. But if you just stick with it and go slow, it'll get up to performance level in, in no time at all. And we got a big shout out, Brian, isn't it? From Brian from Ireland. He's the one, one of the guys that requested this, and he's been with us since we started. So we appreciate all y'all. Just stay with us, and we'll keep putting out some good stuff. Go to get the tab and follow along, and this will be a great tune to add to your repertoire. God bless y'all. See you next time.